Good day everyone, my name is Alex and welcome to a new review. For today I have a wireless keyboard and mouse that can be used with basically anything. You can use this with a TV box, you can use it to the Windows machine, you can use it to the Mac, you can use it to basically anything that has a USB. So this comes with a USB dongle and let me show you that USB dongle. So on the back of the keyboard here we have a little uh, door and you can take out that uh, USB dongle, it's very easy to do. And this is also the charging port. So we have an internal battery inside this keyboard and the, the manufacturer says that it's gonna last about 30 hours. I've been using this for a week now and I guess I'm using it for about an hour, an hour and a half every day. And I still haven't had to charge it. So yeah, I believe that it's gonna last for uh, two, three weeks depending on uh, how much you're using it. But uh, the battery inside seems to last quite some time. So you get that uh, USB dongle there, you plug it in any device with a USB port and that's it, you're set and ready to go. This keyboard is called the K18 and it's made by the same manufacturer uh, of that uh, little keyboard that you've seen in a lot of my videos. So it comes in this box right here on the front, we just see a picture of the keyboard and on the back uh, some specifications basically on how to use the keyboard. So very very easy to use. The keyboard has an on off button about here, so you can turn it on whenever uh, you're using it. But if you just let it sit and you don't actually touch it, it will turn off by itself. But uh, you can turn it on by just tapping any key. So you have the on off button there. This is uh, basically the left click button. If you are uh, doing something with a TV box, for example, you may need to use that button there. We have a little uh, display there that's going to show you whatever... Uh, you have on so when you turn that on uh, that's gonna connect to whatever device uh, that the USB dongle is in you're gonna get a little light uh, to know whenever the keyboard is charging if you press the caps lock you're gonna get a little uh, light there as well and when you're low on battery you're gonna have that uh, light uh, showing up so very very easy to use and uh, you don't actually have to learn how to use this keyboard Depending where you're gonna place the keyboard, it's very easy to access and it's slightly smaller than a keyboard that you would find on a Mac. On the right hand side here we have the mouse uh, pad or mouse track, whatever you want to call it. So basically if you tap on this once, it becomes the left button of the mouse. If you tap on this twice, it uh, becomes the right button of the mouse or the return key for a TV box. You can also click on this, so this has a click as well, so you can choose if you want to click or just tap. So the same, if you click once, it becomes the left button of the mouse. If you click on it to two fingers, it's going to become the right uh, button of the mouse or the return key in case of a TV box. I wanted to do a very quick demonstration to show you how the trackpad um, works here. So let's say that uh, you want to open the settings app, so all you have to do is click on this. And if you want to go back, you just get two fingers and tap on uh, this once again. So it works uh, very, very easy. Now we do have this button on top here because sometimes you need uh, like the button for the trackpad. So if you want to raise the navigation bar, for example, um, for this TV box, you can do this. So you'd hold that and uh, you actually lift that. So very, very easy to do. So let me show you that once again. So you'd hold this button here. This becomes a click. So just like that so very very easy to do so that button is very useful because otherwise there would be no actual way to raise uh, the navigation bar on something or to click and move the mouse in the exact same time so this wireless keyboard may not be for um, absolutely everyone uh, for some people it may be easier with something like this but it really depends on your setup and uh, how you're watching tv or what you're uh, using this with because if you're just gonna type and um, you have a little table uh, where you can do that this is much easier than uh, the other one and i do love the battery life because i don't actually have to charge it every two or three days now i can go uh, for weeks on one charge all right guys hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did like it press that like button don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching